Okay, so the first rule that we have is the constant rule. How do you find the integral of something that is a constant? So let's say f of x equals 3. How do you find the integral of that? Well, the law or the rule is the integral of a constant c is cx. Basically, if you have a constant, all you do to find the integral is just multiply it by an x. If you are finding the integral in respect of x, if you are finding the integral in respect of y, you just multiply it by an y. So if you have f of y equals 5, the integral of f of y will be 5y. So the integral of a constant c is cx. And and don't forget that you have a constant right here, a plus constant right here, but we are not writing it for simplicity. So let me give you a couple of examples. Let's say f of x equals 3. What is the integral of this? Or what is the integral of f of x? Well, the integral of f of x is 3x. You basically multiply it by x. How do we know that this is actually the integral of 3 or this constant? Well, if you take that differentiation, the derivative of 3x is just 3 because you have a variable times a constant. When you have a variable times a constant and you take the derivative, all you will have have left is just the constant. So the differentiation or the derivative of f of x equaling 3x is 3 and when you take the integral of 3 it becomes 3x. Let me give you another example. Let's say we have this f of x equals 35 pi plus 4. This is roughly 114. So what is the integral of that? Well, as you guessed it probably, it's just like the previous example. The integral of this is 114 x. You basically just multiply it by x. So the integral of a constant c is the constant times the variable that you are integrating in respect to. This is about the constant rule. Let's check out the other rules.